Hey guys, it's Kim. I'm Kendall. It's Kourtney Kardashian. It's Kylie for anyone who doesn't know. I'm Khloe Kardashian and this is Princess True Thompson. I'm just gonna do my everyday makeup for you guys. You have to believe that I'm doing all of this myself. I already moisturized and put chapstick on. Even if I've already moisturized for the day, I put on moisturizer again. I'm gonna put you down so I can do this, okay? Yeah, it's psoriasis on my face. It's coming on my face. So whoever's stressing me the fuck out needs to leave me alone. Oh, thank you. Is that for me? No. No? Okay. Everyone that comes in my house has like, red tinted arms from like swatches and like shadows. <laughs> this Elta MD skincare, I know Courtney uses it. So I put this on my face, my hands, my neck, my chest. Because this is where we all show our age. I have not worn sunscreen every day for my whole life. I used to always be afraid of sunscreen and would think that it would make me break out. And I put it on my hands, which is a trick that Chloe taught me. Sunscreen is important to me. I have like naturally really fair skin and I don't, I can't ever like get a tan. I just burn a little bit of this, never hurt. I don't really like to put too much on because I hate when I have like cakey makeup on. This brush I love, it's a MAC Kabuki brush. MAC Kabuki brush, and they don't make it anymore. It is so damaged. MAC, please continue to make the 180. All the good things are always discontinued. Put it all on my hands and just kind of mix it. I guess I'll use the new brush. I'm gonna put foundation all over. I'm gonna brush them up. But brows, I use an Anastasia pencil. In the 90s, I would, in high school, make my brows so thin. Drew Barrymore was my everything inspiration. Filling in my eyebrows, I do it really, I pretty much stay with the shape. I usually pluck them. Sometimes I wax, but only under. When I was like, 14. I think at the moment, like having really thin eyebrows was a cool thing. So I literally plucked them all off. I had like a line of an eyebrow. My sisters yelled at me. They throw all the, uh, the tweezers in the house. I've never touched them myself ever since. Now I'm gonna go in with this darker brown. Kind of gives me more of like a cut crease. It's like right in the center. I'm gonna use my Kylie Cosmetics Coco Collab that I did with her. It's very cute and pink, I love pink. This is our third collab, actually. And the first one was just lips and it was so fun working with her. We both respect each other in the business world. I've always been like really into makeup. I think I just used to watch my mom a lot maybe and I used to like steal all her makeup and she had these two little Chanel loose eyeshadow powders. I just can't get them out of my mind. I've done my makeup in cars, in porta potties. I'm not kidding. I have been wearing makeup since eighth grade, I think. I mean, we didn't wear makeup to school. I think it was for like parties or on weekends. We would wear dark lipstick. I've always been super good at taking care of my skin. My mom, I think, instilled that in all of us at a really young age. We've always had a skincare routine. I'll watch my sisters do makeup tutorials and I'm like, we do makeup so differently, all of us. I'm in awe of all of their techniques. Like whenever Kylie does a makeup tutorial, I am watching that shit and I am like, what, how do you do that? Like I'm so captivated. Hers and Kim's, even Kim's with the body makeup or this, I'm like, this is such a, Art and it's so much fucking work. I use my concealer. So we're gonna do Conceal Bay Frighten. If you guys only saw the under eyes that I have, well, you are seeing them. We're getting there, guys, we're getting there. My daughter loves makeup. She has a little vanity in her room that my mom gave her for Christmas. I let her play and I try to keep her makeup as clean as possible. Anytime you see a little hole like that, you know North was here. North loves eyeshadow and blush, highlighter, stuff that's like powdery that she can get into with a brush and ruin it. That's like, she has such a heavy hand, she's so aggressive. Since becoming a mom, I literally 
this is what I do, but I literally locked my front door or my bedroom door so she can't get out. So she's kind of trapped. When you are a mom, you have no time to blend like this. So unless I have work and I'm getting my hair and makeup done, I do not have time to blend all day. So I try to do it as quick as possible. I'm going to bake this. It's important you do this after your bronzer. Every time I do my makeup, I bake. I love how baking looks. I swear I could just go out like this. I can't do my makeup without baking. I think it really does help. And for anyone who doesn't know what it is, baking actually like, it's like the powder is like soaking in to your skin and leaving like a residue of like a of color. So I'm actually, I'm like trying to make this lighter here. So I have more of like a, it just shapes my face. I hope that was a great explanation. I really love KKW's concealer. I am red always around my nose. I don't know why, I hate it. After I bake, I do cream contour. Cause I'm not done baking. I still have to bake my crease. Instead of drawing the lines on my face, I like to keep it a little more natural. So I put it on my hand. I take a brush. This is if just, I don't do this every time I do my makeup. This is like a once in a while if you just want a little extra. My favorite part. I kind of pinch it to make it even thinner. I learn a lot from being on set. What taught me most about how to do my own makeup is just my own face and finding out what looks good on me and what doesn't. My dad paid for Kim and Courtney to take like a makeup class when they turned 16 or 18, something like that. And Kim used to always make a three. I kind of like go in a three like this, like that and down, like that and down. That's my trick. And I, no one paid for me to have a makeup class if you can't tell. But anyway, I would take tips and tricks from my sisters and I always remember Kim saying, just make a three. When I was insecure about my lips, I turned to makeup to help me feel more confident. I do pretty much color my whole lip with lip liner. I think I can do it with my eyes closed. It's pretty good. It was actually a funny story. My mom did her lip liner in the car real quick. At, we were actually at Disney World with my whole family a long time ago. And she accidentally took out her black eyeliner instead of her lip liner and she lined her lips with black eyeliner and Courtney was dying. I've never, I think Courtney Peter her pants. I use Kim and Kylie's lines for different things. I think it's amazing how they've both come up with such different products. They're both serving my different makeup needs. I had Kylie Lip Kit trademarked like two years before it even launched and I was like bugging my mom about it. I see it, like I need to do this. She was like, okay, put up your own money. Like, stop talking about the lip kit. And then I didn't even order a lot. My mom was like, okay, if this doesn't work out, you're gonna have like a lot of lip kits in your garage. I didn't even make it to my launch party. I like refreshed the page and in two seconds, everything was gone. And like, I just remember me and all my glam people, my friends, we were like screaming. And then the Kylie Instagram used to be Kylie Lip Kit. And the day after I changed it to Kylie Cosmetics and I was like, this is like gonna be something like I can actually do. Yeah, I saw Kendall modeling all over the world and I was like, and that was always her dream. And just, you know, then finally finding something that was like mine and I loved was like the best feeling in the world. I don't really like to separate. You really want my beauty secrets? I use grilled cheese oil on my face. This is just a lot of work. Okay. Kim, you're doing a good job. I swear no one ever looks cute putting on mascara. These are my lashes. Everyone thinks that I have on lash extensions and I don't, do you see that? No lash extensions here, people. I'm gonna do blush, which is my favorite part, and I'm gonna use Barely Legal from Kylie Cosmetics. I love this pink color. I have really big cheeks. I have like these balls on my cheeks. My mom says people pay for them, but I don't know if my mom is supposed to say that. Blush doesn't work for everybody, but it just makes me like just feel amazing. <laughs> Drowning in blush right now. I am not a fan of the crazy, like the contour, the highlighter, like that whole look. It just makes me feel like my whole 
look is complete. This is my Conceal, Bake, and Brighten, and this is the Brighten. It honestly is like the best. This is the key to my Armenian Dark Under Eye Circle success. I couldn't live without it. This is Luminizer. Sometimes I will put the tiniest touch on the sides, just right here. Lip liner is my jam. I'm gonna use KKW today in Peach too. Then I'm gonna take my Coco Collab. I'm gonna try one of my new glosses and see if this works out. Might not. And then I dab it, just to like enhance my own color. I like having gloss rather than just matte. And if I don't have gloss, I use like chapstick or something. Oh my God. Kayla's not gonna know who did my makeup today. She will never guess. For lips now, I have been loving a dark liner. So instead of making my cupid's bow really defined, I've been kind of filling it in right there. And it just, I don't know, I love 90s glam. So I know this looks really dark because there's kind of that con concealer foundation on my lip. And I just kind of blend the lip liner. Then I just let my hair down and I'm actually gonna spray because I feel like spraying just makes your makeup look better in person and less powdery. Honestly, this is as good as good it's gonna get for my hair. I'm not a great hairstylist. I'm learning though, I really am. I've actually, uh, no, never mind. you guys don't care. Last and final step is highlighter and I'm gonna use the Kylie palette, the Kylie that she did with my mom. And it says you're doing amazing sweeting, of course. I bought this house from Justin Bieber and before that wall, that was a wall of sneakers. The girl's dream would be what? To have a beautiful makeup vanity in their own bathroom. All right, well that is my beat face. That's it. And then I'm done. This is the final holiday smoky look with a little bit of glitz and glam. Thank you guys for watching me do my everyday makeup and now I'm gonna go shoot Keeping Up and I'm gonna go meet my sisters. Cool. Bye guys. Bye guys. I'm really surprised myself. I'm not a makeup artist, I never claimed to be. But after today, I might change that title. <laughs>